To make a plant pot, we have to start in a place like this. It's called a quarry. A quarry is a place where materials like rock, sand and clay are dug out of the ground by big diggers. And this digger is digging for clay, and it's what we use to make plant pots. The soft clay is being loaded into the back of a big truck called a dumper. It'll be mixed with another harder type of clay called shale. It looks like big rocks, but actually just crumbles away. The shale and clay mix is taken by a digger to the plant pot factory where it's ground down into a fine powder in this crushing machine. The crushed up clay then travels along conveyor belts. Up here, over there, down here, and it ends up here. When the clay powder is ready to be used, it travels to this machine. It's called an extruder. This mixes the powder with water to create a solid clay. Look, can you see how the mixture is being pushed out of the pipe and then a wire comes out and plop, it falls onto the conveyor belt. And this is called a slug. Look at all these slugs. It's a funny name, isn't it? And each slug is enough to make one plant pot. The slugs travel onto a robotic machine called a pot press. Here, they're sprayed with an oil to stop them from sticking as they slide down into a plant pot mould. The moulds are spinning round really fast to make sure that the clay is spread evenly top part of the machine then presses down on the clay which makes it squidge up around the sides to make the shape of a plant pot. Look, can you see it? There it is. Lastly, a robotic arm gently picks up the plant pot and puts it on a conveyor belt. And here it comes. These ones are still slippy and wet. You can't put plants in a pot like this. So first, they have to be dried. The pots and some pipes, which are also made from clay, are put into a special dryer for 13 hours. Then, to make them even harder and even stronger, the pots need to get very, very hot. And something is killed. Wow, this is the kiln and it's extremely hot. The tunnel inside gets heated to over a thousand degrees, so I'm making sure I stand well back. To show you just how hot it is inside, I've got my special camera with me. This is a thermal imaging camera and it shows us how hot or cold things are by showing different colours. Cool things tend to look blue, but hot things look yellow and really, really hot things look white. What colour do you think it's going to be inside the kiln? <laughs> Everything is bright white. Wow. It takes six hours to travel slowly through the kiln. And here they come out the other end. And look, the heat has made them change to a lovely orange colour. The final thing to happen is that once they've cooled down, they come here for inspection. If a pot has a crack in it, it will make a really dull sound. This one is smooth and solid. So what sound do you think it will make? This one sounds like a bell, and that means that it's ready to go. I think it's perfect for some plants, don't you? I loved seeing how plant pots were made. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember what the lumps of clay were called 
abilities to make each pot. They're cool slugs. And did you hear the sound the solid pot made when it was finally ready? And did you see my special camera when we looked inside the kiln? It was so hot, it turned white. Oh.